2K20. And I have I have played my career mode already, but I wanted to do it for you guys, like a video, like on like Prince Truth. I'm doing a video with like people from movies overall. Ruby, Roundhouse, as well. I did like a poll on Facebook, uh, and uh, this and Doctor Smarter Brave got the most votes to team up with um, with, with Ruby Roundhouse. Forgot a name for half a second. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the my career mode. I have played it, so I do know the storyline. But thought it'd be fun to do it for you guys. All right, for a second, my controller wasn't working. I got a little worried because the controller dies, the mic dies, and this. All kinds of fun. <clears throat> I know it's a little bit earlier for me for Twitch, but if you're watching on YouTube, well, don't really matter. This video should be up on YouTube tomorrow. I'm going uh, later on. I'm going to be doing NXT Takeover Phoenix, but that's at midnight. Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon. For Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And we are in it. Get Ronda the yellow health. Ruby Roundhouse and Ronda Rousey. And ladders teleport into the ring. And Ruby Roundhouse heading up to the top. Uh, surrounding the ring as these two are at the top. Bianca Belair going after Ruby. And Charlotte and Shayna Baszler take down Ronda. And now it's a race to the top of the ladders. As Lena Vega has her fingers on it. Ooh. And now Charlotte and Ruby seem to be like working together in a way, pushing the ladders over. And now Ruby and Ronda going at it again, like I said, working together in a way. And now the other competitors getting up on the outside as Ruby and Ronda Rousey are going at it again in the ring and Ronda Rousey gets slammed to the mat once again oh Ruby gets sent over the top rope catches herself Ronda sends Ruby to the floor and now Ronda Rousey attacking the Queen Charlotte Flair Back first right at the floor. Well, not the floor on the apron, I should say. Sorry. What? And now Ruby setting Ronda into the turnbuckle. Oh, look at these strikes from Ruby. Strikes after strikes. Oh, Ronda transitions it. Now Ruby in the corner, getting rapid strikes. Oh, another counter. Toughness from Ruby Roundhouse. 
Zelina Vega. And now in the ring. You're going to try to sneak a victory here. Ruby Roundhouse sees it and he's not going to let her get the win here. Here comes Andrade. That helps Zelina Vega win the money in the big briefcase. Oh, well here's... Dr. Bravestone, I was out here. Oh! And now Ruby at the top of the ladder. Oh, the fingertips away. Fingertips away from the briefcase. But Ronda Rousey stops her. Oh, my God. My God. Not an armbar. Armbar hanging off the top of the ladder. To be continued. This truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh yeah, our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet homemade million dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. <laughs> to be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable magnet, right? Just get it out of there. No one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind. But don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. So, Dr. Bravestone and Ruby Roundhouse are all dressed up. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is going to do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a... Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact. WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced. So it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. 
Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Yeah, Wrestle Find nice. out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two fartwads doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> That was a huge mistake. Uh -oh. So, we get into a fight. Get into the principal's office. Sorry. It's not like it's so hard to do stuff when you know you've played the game before. Like, I'm sure there's a few things that I forgot from the storyline, but it is what it is. But right now, yeah, Brooklyn Von Braun versus Ruby Roundhouse off the ropes, uh, dodges out the way, and now. Ruby gonna try to break Brooklyn's arm there. Oh, right up against the ropes. Oh, knee right to the back. Looks like Brooklyn went for a whatever. But it was changed to a a fireman's carry. Not ends a gurry. Oh, Brooklyn gloating to the crowd. Oh, lunch tray slid into the ring. Brooklyn slid on it. And now Ruby to the top rope, Moon Salt. And three count. And Ruby wins the match. He has like a loading screen every single time. <laughs> wait, 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 let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> that was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking! Oh. This is what happens when you... I'm going to get help. Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey! Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray? <laughs> Well, now her face matches her nickname. Well, at least I went. They're, they're cheering for her, so this should be a good thing, right? <laughs> it means something. I would take it as something. been way worse yeah Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online oh wait that's exactly what she did I meant she could have dumped something worse on me like mayo or hot sauce and hey at least she didn't destroy our list so what I'm not gonna do any of those things anyway what do you mean we were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. Yes. See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right, though. You got a second chance in life, and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. Be one hell of a match. I'm not torture if you're paying for it. Yeah. 
Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Which is... Remember this from the uh, cutscene that just played. I listened for it because you know I know what happens. Finally, because I've played Was never before. in doubt. I got his phone back too. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot his phone was in still in there. So Mommy won't I'm not still in there. I forgot he put again. his phone in there. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. <laughs> Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> president but I, Johnson. I voted for Kane. Sorry for the uh, background noise. My baby is going to sleep. And I'm talking about my kid, not Butterfly. <laughs> That's not Butterfly yelling. It's funny because, like, the president is Dwayne Johnson. And the guy that played Dr. Bravestone is him I was debating whether I should end it here or not because I don't even know how long I've been up here and recording I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. <laughs> no way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Alright, now, here's how I'm going to be doing this, guys. Now, obviously, because of the way that things are, you're going to have to take my w word for it. But I'm going to be using the 8-ball to determine what I'm going to do. And, uh, because, you know, I don't have as many viewers as of right now like I, that I would want. Or I would just ask you guys whenever it's live, but that's not happening. Should I play this match? You may rely on it. Okay, so yes. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. So we're gonna like watch Dr. Bravestone and AJ Styles. And now you guys actually get to see uh, Dr. Bravestone's. Uh, Ring gear. <laughs> Dropping Dr. Braveston on his head.
Dr. Bravestone is like a you know, warning to Styles. Nice kick from Bravestone. Styles rolls out of the ring. Bravestone meets AJ with a close line. Slumps to the back. Slamming the arm of AJ down. And now again. Boom. No, wrenching on the leg. But Rafe's not going up. Oh, jumps but doesn't get any, n close to Styles at all. Rafe's goes off the ropes for a clothesline when successful. <laughs> you know, oof. Hot shot off the top rope. Elbow drop right to the inner thigh of AJ Styles. AJ sends to the corner. Oh, AJ getting up. In the uh, opening scene, you got to see uh, Ruby Roundhouse's ring gear. So, in this episode, you got to see both the ring gears. Oh, AJ sent right into the corner. Oh. Punch. To Styles. There's a two count, and Styles is able to kick out. Oh, Bravestone picks up AJ again. A buckle bomb. And Styles able to kick out again after the smolder boulder. And Bravestone. And I'll start as Styles. Another splash. Styles got up rather quickly just to eat a, a like a forearm across the back. No, no, he hit him in the face. I don't know what I'm saying. Another forearm right to the face. That's what he did. And Styles got back up. Nope, right attacking the knee. And now another weapon of mass destruction on Styles. And Styles again able to kick out. AJ grabs a hold of Bravestone, but under under to keep her. And now a smaller boulder again. And Dr. Bravestone wins.
can't really see Riley Flash's face because my face is in the way. But I'm actually going to go ahead and stop this episode here. And, and we'll, we'll be continuing at a, on another date. But I do want to say, take a second to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything, guys want to catch up on everything, head over to my YouTube channel at Prince Truth if you're not there already. And if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the special notifications so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, I am out.